What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we're taking a look at Mr. Jones watches. This is the Ascendant. This watch uh, is an automatic. They make a bunch of different watches in quartz and automatic, a bunch of different types of movements. This actual watch has a painted dial. It's painted onto the underside of the glass. All of their watches are, uh, they tell time in a different way in either a jump hour mechanism or they have discs inside the watches that actually display the, the time in a different manner than your traditional way of hours, minutes, and seconds. Uh, just a really interesting watch brand making very interesting watches. The outer box is uh, just a drawing of what looks like a drawing that's inspired by the circus of sideshows and things like that. The box itself is made out of a composite, sort of a composite wood cardboard. This is the Ascendant, as I mentioned, and you can see the case back from the back of the actual box. You flip it over, it's signed with the logo of the brand, NJW, and then inside the box you get a little pamphlet that shows you exactly uh, how the watch actually works and then a picture of the artist and this is the artist that actually created this dial uh, the dial is printed directly on and gilded onto the underside of the uh, actual glass it is a jump hour so there's a jump hour mechanism right at uh, a Trump hour, uh, hour uh, display in the tree here so this is a tree that's sitting on the side of a hill uh, there's a little mountain in the background and it's a night sky. You have uh, the leaves of that tree and then uh, with that little jump hour right there in the center of that tree. This watch is obviously inspired by Japanese art, I would say. Uh, the artist, I don't know, is actually either Japanese or not. However, uh, beautiful dial here and we're going to look at it right now. This is a 37 millimeter watch. It has a 46 millimeter lug to lug so it is a pretty decently sized watch it's not a uh, insignificant watch for for a unisex watch and that's what they describe this as so it definitely wears it could be worn for uh, you could if you're a man or a woman you could definitely wear this uh, and because of that 46 millimeters it does wear uh, pretty substantially for the 37 millimeters so I think it's very nice and you can see that dial is gilded it is it has metallic uh, paint to it. It is also printed. So there's printing and a gilding on that dial. And it's all done on the underside of the glass. And then behind that, there is discs that display stars and uh, a little crescent moon. That's how you tell the hour, the uh, minutes. The hours, as I said, is a jump hour right there in the uh, trees. And I mentioned this is an automatic. This is, gets a seagull movement. So a Chinese movement. This is assembled in London. Um, and the actual seagull movement is the ST1721, so a pretty good movement in here for the price, especially considering the price, $275, so you're getting uh, a really good uh, automatic watch for $275. Uh, the seagull movements in general, I like seagull movements, they're extremely, extremely affordable, and they're decently made movements that come out of Asia. Uh, and I definitely, I'm not, I'm not going to dog them because I, I actually am a big fan of the ST19, which is a Venus clone, a Venus, uh, a vintage Venus movement. It's a column wheel chronograph. They make some interesting movements uh, that really are great quartz replacements. So if you want a quartz watch, that's fine. If you don't like quartz, and a lot of people don't for whatever reason. You can get a watch with a seagull movement for 275 bucks. You get an automatic, uh, excuse me, a mechanical column wheel chronograph for around 300 bucks if you have a seagull movement, and that's really awesome. Uh, so you could be a watch collector uh, who collects mechanical watches on a real budget. Uh, so this is an interesting watch, as I mentioned. So as you as you progress the actual time, the stars move on that dial on the right side of the dial itself. And you can see there's gold stars, there's silver stars, they're small, they're large. They all represent a different uh, amount of minutes. So a small gold star represents five, five minutes. A large silver star represents 30 minutes. A large gold star represents 10 minutes. And then a crescent moon represents zero minutes past. So you can see as I, as I change the stars on the uh, dial, you can see there's a crescent moon. That means we're zero minutes past the hour will jump and then a small this is a large gold star that represents 
uh, 10 minutes and then there's a small gold star right there that's five minutes and as they add up you add in so there's a small gold star and a large gold star uh, so that's 15 minutes very interesting way of telling the time you're not going to get an accurate movement uh, or accurate telling of the time with this you don't have actual moving seconds but it's a very interesting way you get a, a very interesting way of telling the time you get a very interesting case as i said 46 millimeters across very thin straight lugs on here uh two crowns one is non-functioning one is the functioning crown the functioning crown is not signed the non-functioning is which is weird uh, it is a PVD coated case. It is primarily polished PVD coated. The back of the watch just has their logo, the ascendant, the name of the actual artist. It's 50 meters water resistant, which is very nice. Uh, pretty good for a watch that is essentially a dress watch. Uh, and it's all stainless steel uh, case. You get a nice leather, cav leather strap on here. And the buckle itself, also PVD coated, is signed. And it's a little bit... Uh, different, a little bit, bit bespoke to this watch itself, which I think is nice. And I'm going to throw it on my wrist. Uh, today I am actually wearing uh, Busail. This is the Vintage 2.0 smartwatch. I've been wearing this for a little while and I absolutely love it. I think it's a really great watch. I have a contest going right now where I'm giving away one of these in conjunction with Busail specifically for Watch Chris subscribers. I will put a link to that contest in the description below, along with a link to obviously Mr. Jones Watch's website. And you can see that, as I mentioned, this is not a small watch. 37 millimeters is a kind of deceiving. Uh, it definitely wears like a 39 millimeter watch. As you can see on my six and a half inch wrist, uh, seven and a half inch wrist, excuse me, it wears pretty decently and it does not feel like a small watch whatsoever. And it's because of those lugs, those 46, that 46 millimeters is pretty long for a watch this with these dimensions with a 36 millimeter uh, uh width so it does wear a little bit bigger i like it. It, it, it i think it looks really good on my wrist this watch doesn't get any looms and we're not gonna have a loom shot and really this is uh i'm gonna be wearing it over the next few weeks and i will definitely tell you guys uh what i think about the watch but in general first impressions i love it and i think this watch is actually sold out but they have a bunch of different versions of this watch from the same artist and they have this amazing gilt dial if if you get a look at this watch in person i'll put some close-up pictures and and video of the watch itself uh while uh so you could see what that dial actually looks like it's a beautiful dial it's really a piece of art on your wrist and i definitely recommend it for someone who's looking for something a little bit different something a little bit strange a conversation starter because this is definitely a conversation starter it's not something that someone's going to look at you and say hey what time is it and then look at your watch and they're not going to ask questions after that they're going to ask questions because first off it's a weird way of telling time if someone looked at it and it was on your wrist they wouldn't know how to tell time right away you would have to actually explain it to them uh so it's a very interesting uh way of telling time it's also automatic and it's only 275 dollars uh, and like I said, they make quartz versions of these watches with different dials. They have very fun watches uh, with a lot of different quirky uh, styles to them. Uh, those are more affordable than this. And $275 for an automatic watch that has a jump hour mechanism that is extremely interesting, that's PVD coated with an enameled, uh, well, gilded dial that's actually printed on the backside of a glass. Uh, all of these add up to a very interesting watch and a very affordable watch considering the specs. Anyway, tell me what you think of this watch in the comments below. As you know, I try and bring you guys very different watches on a very regular different on a very regular basis and uh, I believe that this is something very different, something very special. Uh, please also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. Uh, please like and subscribe to the Watch Chris channel here on YouTube. It is super helpful. Uh, please hit that bell notification if you haven't. Uh, it's very helpful for the channel and much appreciated. I have a bunch of links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and you buy anything, it doesn't have to be one of the watches that I have linked to. It could be anything. It goes to help supporting the channel. It doesn't affect your prime benefits or cost you anything extra. Uh, and it is much appreciated. Anyway, thank you for logging on and I will see you guys in the next video.